lives are affected on the payroll. Chuck Edwards, take it away. My friend from North Carolina, you got three minutes to close this out. All right. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Chairman Arrington and Ranking Member Boyle and my fellow budget committee members, this is a defining moment. Each of our lives and every civilization's destiny is defined by decisions we make at key moments. It was such that defining moment when George Washington decided on that famous night to cross the Delaware. It was such that defining moment when each of our forefathers signed our Constitution. It was such that defining moment when President Lincoln decided all men and women, regardless of their race, should be free. It was such that defining moment when many of us here decided who would be our life partner. It was such that defining moment when a physician may have placed a child in our arms. Friends, I suggest to you that we're here today at this defining moment. We find ourselves here today where we have the opportunity and the responsibility to decide should our grandchildren be afforded simply the opportunity to enjoy the beauties and the freedoms of the possibilities of the American way of life that was envisioned by generations before us? Or will we use this moment to continue to drive our nation deeper in debt, to force our grandchildren to bear the burden of our thirst to spend more and more, and put at risk their ability to protect themselves from their enemies or weather the next pandemic? Friends, this is a defining moment for which I asked the opportunity to come to Washington. And I'll proudly vote yes for this budget, for this roadmap to get our country back on track. I thank you, Mr. Chairman, for your leadership, for bringing us to this infamous moment, and for listening to our ideas and concerns, and for helping us write a plan to make tough, reasonable choices and while maybe they are not perfect, they'll give future generations the opportunity to enjoy the benefits of living in this great nation. I yield back. I thank the gentleman from North Carolina. We've heard from my Republican colleagues at our commitment to America to rein in spending, restore fiscal accountability to the people, and to reverse the curse for our children and our country's future. Now we will recognize the ranking member and